If I start telling people about hell, I might just scare them off. Where are you gonna scare them off to? Hell number two? Or are you just gonna sit there and let them burn? Theodore, how you doing? You know, I'm thanking God. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I just thank God. Uh, I try to thank him as, long, as much as I can throughout the day that he would use anybody, right? He would use me to for his business and to just try to preach the gospel as much as I can. And you guys are doing great, man. You know, I know that you want to reach out to the younger audience. And I, I, I told, I, I implore parents that if they're listening to this right now, get your teenager, get your teenager to listen to this stuff. You, you know, Satan, when, when Satan can destroy the mind, the soul is so easy and they do it through propaganda that we're going to be talking about. Right. So, um, so thank you guys for having me on. Oh, glad to thank have the Lord, you. my brother. Thank the Lord. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. So, Theodore, what what was your experience throughout your life, and then coming to the Lord so that you could give this message? You know, I my mom saved me at a young age. Um, I was like a typical kid, right? I just very, you know, don't touch my toys. I'll, you got germ on my, you got germs on my food. I'm not going to eat it. You know, just very. I could be very bratty and. Um, my mom just basically did the what would Jesus do, and she would try to preach the gospel as much as she could. I mean, I, from, from what I can remember as a little kid, I, I, it's amazing I would even remember that stuff. And I just remember I, I wanted to be like Jesus Christ, and I didn't know who Jesus Christ was, but I totally turned my life away. I turned my life around. And, um, you know, I just that stuck with me, and you know how the world is. I mean, it's very easy to get led, you know, down the broad way, not the narrow path. And so that's kind of what happened with me throughout my life. And it wasn't until about 23 years old that um, I was just, I went to university. You know, high school actually was a good kid. I didn't go out and party and stuff like that. It was really university uh, level that really got me. And I was, I just, I didn't live a good life, you know, and I got broken down and I prayed to God that, hey, listen, you know, I, tried to honor my parents as best as I could. I tried to do everything I could that you've told us to do in the Ten Commandments. And, I, and you know, I can't – I tried to do that, and I'm still broken, Lord. I, I need you more than anything. And that's kind of like the uh, – that was kind of like, you know, what I, kind of like a revival type thing. And that's when I just totally dedicated my life to the Lord. And, you know, I've, I've built businesses with – you know, multiple people, and I was working for the world and, you know, building other people's stuff and got into, you know, ministry work. And, and I just, I found out real quick that a lot of fake Christians and, that there's a, you know, the world is, the Christian world is just as bad as the corporate world. It's really sad. And so that's kind of why I started my own ministry is to say, is to warn people, like, listen, the narrow path is very narrow, people. And um, you've got a lot of people, a lot of hucksters, a lot of people that just want to hurt you for no reason that are along the way that will lead you to hell and to damnation. And so that's kind of where I'm at. That's, that's my life in a nutshell. If you like our videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all our frequent updates.